when you won your first championship, you said you didn't enjoy it that much. Yeah. Why not? I didn't enjoy it at all. Um, How come? I think, I think uh, well, it was kind of a, getting to Form 1 was an incredible achievement for, for our family, you know. It was so hard along the way. My dad had four jobs to even get me go-karting, and we were racing against all these rich kids, and to have walked away in a, honestly, we had a real crap car, road car, and crap trailer, and all these people had the flashy stuff, and we would arrive and we would knock them dead. And that was such a satisfying thing. And, um, and then, we got to, then we got to Formula One, and the, pres the pressure was so intense. You know, the pressure, most of the pressure comes from myself to want to succeed. But when you first get to Formula One, the, the pressure to impress, the pressure to, to deliver above and beyond what your ex people's expectations are. So I remember my first year, my boss was like, don't be surprised, you know, you're going to be about half a second off the you know, your teammate, he's, he's a two-time world champion, but don't worry about it, you know. And I was like, no way. <laughs> and they're like, that just kind of, uh, maybe he actually said it to fire me up, I don't know, but, and then, you know, I beat, I nearly beat him in the first race, I beat him in the second race, uh, third race, sorry. And, uh, and that year I lost the world championship, which was really, you know, in the face of, in front of Barely. so many. Yeah, in the front of so many people, um, managing, Embarrassment, managing your emotions was really difficult. And the next year, bounce back and... Why, why embarrassed though? I mean, here you are your first year, you basically, um, you, you know, well, you because, barely miss out on winning the championship. Well, yeah, I understand. But, but I don't know, I mean, it's, it's when you're in front of cameras, the emotions, you know, I'm a very emotional personal, uh, person, so you're in, put in front of cameras all the time, the highs and the lows. I'm just meaning that, not particularly embarrassment, but that experience was kind of a bit traumatizing in my first year at such a young age. And I wasn't prepared for media. I didn't have media lessons, how to speak to cameras, how to speak to people. I just arrived and I was thrown in the deep end without any lessons, you know, and I just handled it the best way I could. And I won the championship the next year but um, again, really tra traumatizing because I lost it for a second and then the last corner I got the championship. And also, you know, I had a lot of penalties given me f to me in those two years through no fault of my own and, and uh, just through some strange things that were going on in the business and almost like anything to stop me from, from succeeding. So when I finally succeeded, it was a great feeling, but we just rolled on to the next year and, and I think I think just also as a as a as a was a 23, I guess I just wasn't mature enough to to grasp everything that was going on and to go and enjoy it. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.